Hello everyone, welcome back to Eagle 3D Streaming's developer series. I'm Quentin Anderson, co-founder of Eagle 3D Streaming, and today I have with me Arslan, Unreal Engine developer for Eagle 3D, and together we are going to help show everyone how to package and deploy an Unreal Engine application version 5.2 for pixel streaming. Arslan, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing today, Quentin? Yeah, I can't complain. And thanks so much for joining today to help out in this video. First, we'll show how to download and install prereqs for packaging in UE 5.2, how to download a UE project from the marketplace, how to configure that project for pixel streaming, how to package that project for pixel streaming, and then we'll show you how to upload your package build to Eagle's platform for streaming and how you can stream your first project using the platform. Arslan, take it away. Let's just start with uh, installing the prerequisites that we need for this video. Those are going to be how to download the Visual Studio from the Microsoft Store. Just go to the visualstudio.microsoft.com and just click on the version you want to download for the Visual Studio. And when it's done, just open up the Visual Studio launcher that you guys have just downloaded. And it will show something up like this. It's a installer. So the basic things that you will be needing for the sake of uh, packaging your project in the Unreal Engine 5.2, you guys will need the desktop development with C++ and the game development with C++. If you guys are using Windows 11, you have to choose a Windows 11 SDK and similarly for Windows 10. You guys can also go with Unreal Engine installer just to be on the safe side. And another most important thing is that you have to make sure you have downloaded that a latest version of .NET Runtime and the latest version of .NET Framework SDK. Whatever is the latest one for you, it's the better. So uh, just click on install. You guys will probably have an install button right here. For me, I have already installed it. So just uh, uh, there's a modify button. When you guys have installed it, make sure to restart your system. And after restarting, just uh, go to the Epic Games Launcher where you guys can choose any project that you want. Uh, for me and for the sake of this video, I'm just going with the latest one which comes in uh, Electric Dreams environment which is only supported by Unreal Engine 5.2. What I'm going to do is just uh, click on this Craig project right here and just name the project and save it wherever you want. So I'm just going to open this one right up. I'm just going to open this and open it up. So this is the basic thing you guys are going to see when your project is loaded. The first thing that you will be needing is enabling the pixel streaming plugin. Go to the plugin section, this here. And in the plugin section, I'm just going to check the pixel streaming plugin. This one right here, developed by Epic Games. Click it, and there will be a restart. So let's just say uh, click on the restart, wait for it to restart. Okay, here we are with the project. Just to make sure if pixel streaming is enabled, you guys will notice a small toolbar here. We can do one more setting if you guys are a mobile device user. Just go to the project settings and then you guys can search touch interface. What this is going to do is, is it's going to show that uh, virtual touch controls right here on your screen. It's important to move around if you're using a mobile device. When everything is done, these are all the configurations you need. So just uh, go to the platform section and to a package it for Windows, just uh, go to the package and choose your setting, whichever you guys want. For me, I'm just going to package it in this project right here in this folder. The packaging process will begin. As you guys can see, this is the output log. If 
you guys do not know where the output log came from this is where you can access it and to make this window larger I will just uh, click on doc in layout right now you can see all the things that are happening in the Unreal Engine's background the packaging can take a lot of time when you're packaging the project for the first time so I'm just going to uh, just wait here until it is packaged for me I have already packaged the project so, and I'm going to open up the project right here in this folder here it is the package version and now in order to deploy it to Eagle's 3D streaming system what we are going to do is just add it to an archive file a zip file make sure that you guys uh, write down the name of this exe executable exactly the same it is right here because it will be important when you will be deploying it to the Eagle 3D system right back to you Quinton you guys can show how to deploy it Thank you so much for that demonstration on how to prepare your build for pixel streaming. I'm now sharing my screen and I have the build that Arslan has packaged. If we go into the folder to look at the Unreal Engine executable, we see the name is Electric Dreams Sample. What I'm going to do in order to upload it is I'm first going to go to my control panel. The way I get there is I go to control panel.eagle3dstreaming.com and if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. After you do, you'll see the screen. The next thing I do is I first add my application by simply entering in the name of the app. And as Arslan mentioned, it helps to match the name of the executable exactly. Case sensitive, click OK. After you click OK, you'll be taken to the uploader screen. From the uploader screen, I will be able to choose my file by clicking here and then I will select my package build that is zipped and of course pixel streaming plugin needs to be enabled which Arslan demonstrated after I have it selected for upload I click upload which will initiate the uploading process to our platform depending on your internet speed this can take between 1 minute to 10 minutes to 20 minutes if you've got a huge application after your application has finished uploading, you will receive a notification here and you can go back to your control panel, click refresh, and the name of your application will appear. Now, my application has not appeared yet. Why? Because it's still uploading. But after it finishes uploading, it will be present in my list of apps. I've already pre-uploaded it just so I can show this last step. Once your application has finished uploading and has been added to the system, next thing to do is to create a config if you haven't already. And all you have to do in order to play it is click play app. After I click play app, then the application will begin. I'm placing the queue and then the application begins to start. While the application is starting, if you want to copy the URL, simply click this button and you can share it with anyone that you would like to have access to your application. In this video, we provide a demonstration on how to package your build for pixel streaming and upload it to Eagle's platform. Arslan, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Quentin Anderson with Eagle 3D Streaming, and stay tuned as we are creating more and more videos on our developer series for Unreal Engine and Pixel Streaming. Thanks, everyone.